What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2. Security researcher Ian Beer posted a proper exploit for the Muck Dirty Cow vulnerability which we can actually use even better. This video is brought to you by Any Unlock, a software that allows you to unlock the screen passcode, bypass MDM, remove SIM lock, even unlock the screen time passcode and remove iTunes backup encryption if you forgot those. Definitely check the program out in the link below, it could be pretty useful for second-hand devices. So two days ago Ian Beer of Google Project Zero released his proof of concept for CVE 2022-46689 or the Muck Dirty Cow vulnerability. Now this vulnerability was already in circulation thanks to this developer over here. They tried to create a proper exploit for it and thanks to that we have applications like Cowabunga or the application that allows you to change the phones on the device without a jailbreak you can see over here. All of these little tweaks work on iOS 16.0 up to 16.1.2 and they can change the dock, they can modify the dock, they can modify various animations, folder background and stuff like that and even the fonts over here. All thanks to that vulnerability by Ian Beer. However Ian Beer decided to create their own proper exploit for this and in the process Ian Beer changed a lot the way this works and it made it even more powerful. With the changes done by Ian Beer it's now possible to control some of the diamonds on the device where previous you could only modify a couple of the files that you had access to. Now of course Sandbox still gets in the way but with this new exploit based on this vulnerability it's actually much more powerful and if you can control diamonds on the device then you're actually pretty close to doing pretty useful stuff. Now according to Ian Beer in here they are planning to work on this further in order to be able to somehow mess with Anthid and TrustD. If they are able to do that things like Troll Store could possibly be ported to work with 16.0 all the way up to 16. 16.1.2. Not only Troll Store, an application like that, which you would have tweaks that you can install from one central application, and because Mfeed and Trusty are debilitated, you will be able to basically use those applications. Kind of like what we have with Kawabanga, which can hide dock, hide home bar, you know, disable folder blur and stuff like that, and the phones application, but even more powerful, like proper file manager maybe. But this exploit, which looked a little bit useless for jailbreak purposes in the beginning, is starting to take shape because EMBR modified it and it's now possible to write the last byte in a 16k page and take over system diamonds, both of which are pretty useful and makes the exploit even more powerful. So yeah, if you're running iOS 16.1.2 all the way down to 16.0, you're definitely on a good firmware. If you're running 16.2, it's not too late to downgrade back to 15.6 RC and use delay OTA to go to 16.1.2. While it's not signed in here, you can still use OTA delay for that. So, yep, thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.